by this Noah Dimitri. When I was in high school about 2,000 years ago, um, I hated studying history because it was full of dates and battles and boring facts that I had to memorize that I kind of hated. Uh, who cared if the Battle of X was in September 26, 1837 or 38? either 87 or 88 or the whole 19th century meant nothing to me and who cared about how many people were killed in battle why and where exactly it took place when I couldn't even quite understand why these battles were happening so I hated history um, I liked on the other hand mythology uh, because mythology was about these incredible creatures these superheroes that had incredible powers and they could do things and more than anything else they had stories and these stories attracted me because I could relate to stories but I couldn't relate to facts so mythology yes history no there was however a point where I had a history professor that was a good one and he could explain to me things in a way that mattered to me and made sense he could explain to me for example that a city um, that's an old city would be built in a place where it made sense for it to be built and why would it make sense for a city to be built in one place versus another place why does it make sense to build the city of Lisbon right here why here what is so special about this particular place what is so special about this particular place and what's so special about some of the places where cities are is how defensible it is. Can you defend the damn place for possible enemies? Um, in the case of Lisbon, yes. And why? Let's study why. Why has this particular spot at the end of this particular peninsula been inhabited forever and ever and ever, for centuries and centuries, for thousands of years? Why? Let's look at the location. What is this water? This water is a river. It's actually a delta. This mighty, mighty river creates this enormous estuary that you see on this side and on the other side of where the city of Lisbon is. And then it flows and flows and flows and flows, goes underneath this lovely suspended bridge, and then goes out into that way into the Atlantic Ocean. So what do you have here? You have an incredibly protected port. Um, and you also, since this is an estuary, you have a fantastic easy source of protein. Uh, because as we know, uh, estuaries the play, or deltas, the place where the sweet water of the river meets the salty water of the ocean, are extremely fertile ecosystems. And they are full of fish. So you have tons of fish, easy to catch, and then you have a protected port, this entire estuary, where the storms will not wreck your boats. So you put the two together and you have easy food. And that's one of the reasons why a few thousand years ago, the ancestors of what are to now are now the Greeks uh, or the people that used to be called the Phoenicians came to this particular estuaries by sea or perhaps also by land. I'm not really sure of the details, but who cares about the details? They got here, they liked this place, and they settled here. Okay, so that's why people come to a place, because it's kind of easy to protect and, and there's a lot of food. Uh, it also, as you notice, since this is a river, it also has water. that's also really important. Um, in this particular case, there's also plenty of winds. As you can see, I'm kind of wind blown. Uh, and that's kind of nice because it means that it does, humidity doesn't stay on and it means that horrible things like mosquitoes which cause malaria uh, are blown away as well and, and the situations don't fester. So that's another great reason. Let me show you, it's beautiful. There are lots of people sailing. I don't know if you can see the sailboats going underneath. Yeah, they're barely visible going underneath this fantastic bridge that's kind of like the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. And look at the blue of the water. Uh, this brings me to another point. People go and settle in places because they're really beautiful. And this place is really beautiful. So, 
So if I was restarting my childhood and I wanted to fall in love with history, um, as I'm in love with history right now, I would try and I would recommend for your kids to find somebody to explain history to them in a way that they can understand. Otherwise, it's all a bunch of boring dates and facts. Um, now, the same thing, here's a problem though, and I'm gonna end this video because we're already at five minutes and I promise to make these short. Uh, if you are smart enough to have find a lovely place like this to settle your colony, as the Greeks, the Phoenicians, etc. did with this, uh, you're not gonna be the only one that's gonna know that this is such a great place. That means that others eventually will get a whiff of the idea that there's a wonderful place that we have found. And this is what happened to Lisbon as well. Um, so lots and lots and lots of others came and tried to capture this particular place. Um, among the most famous ones and the ones that uh, caused the biggest terrors to them were the Moors. Moor is a word for the people, something is screaming over there, I think it's a peacock or something, I have no idea. Anyway, Moor is a word that uh, Europeans used for the people, usually of Arabic extraction, that came from Northern Africa. At some point, roughly around the year 900, um, there was this entire place and also what is now known as Spain was invaded by Moors. Um, they, and it basically became run by them and they have installed their own civilization and their own customs which still have repercussions and still have, a, have left a lot of color here. You have heard of the places like Granada, Sevilla, Cordova with mosques, with, with rich signs of the Arab civilization. The, those happen when these Moors settle in this particular case. Uh, this happened for a long time. It created a, its own special civilization that was a mixture of what they left in North Africa, the, the Arab civilization that they had there, the Muslim civilization, and the civilization that existed here. The people, of course, here were not incredibly happy to have been conquered by these Moors, and then they tried to get rid of them. Eventually, they got rid of them. They pushed them back to the other side. Long, bloody, terrible story. Um, and then they resettled what we can say was their own lands. So that's a kind of a very brief little history of this particular place, Lisbon, Portugal, um, told to you in a way that I would have liked it to be told to me when I was a high school kid struggling with history. Noma Dimitri from Lisbon, Portugal. Happy trails.